At last, the changelings that brought you decisions back in 2018 are returning with their newest and latest album, uh, Dead Moles. Released to the world recently, this new LP gives us several new Starter Jacket songs. Lovely songs to my ears, songs written by two wonderful companions working together. Pulling together their resources and pulling on your heartstrings with their wonderful melodies and lovely uh, rhythmic uh, assault on your ear and your, and your hair and a bit, bit of wood under your house. So we have uh, a, a wonderful picture on the front cover here of um, maybe a dead mall and the sort of thing that you used to find in a mall back in the old days. Oh, forget all this junk. Forget it all. Let's ask Lanny from the band, let's ask it from the horse's mouth to explain what happened here with the cover. The cover art for Dead Malls, new LP by the Star Jackets. I did it because I didn't want to pay anyone else to do it. So I downloaded Photoshop and I searched for images for about five minutes and landed on the one that's on the cover. It's pretty cool, pretty fun. And on the back of it, I just took a bunch of pictures of the boys and photoshopped them all together. Turned out all right. <laughs> dynamic procedure. Okay, so of course, that's all you need to know. And uh, on the back, we indeed do have the montage of photographs, and we have five tracks side A, five tracks side B. No surprise, because that's what you get on a Starter Jackets album, the same as the previous album. And I must say that Decisions here, the previous album, was my very favorite number one album of 2018. So this has big boots to fill if it's to be a contender for this year. Of course it is. Um, this is on Rad Girlfriend, Rad Girlfriend Records once again. We have the credits along the bottom. Let's take a look within to see if it holds any secrets. Any disallowed perpetualities or woo, whiteness. Look at that. As white as a nun's white bits. Um, we have a plain traditional paper sleeve and within the record is hiding inside. This came on uh, either colour record, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure which colour, maybe a mysterious colour. Or black. Plain black. Black as the night. Black as uh, Batman's uh, eyeliner. This is side A. Which, as you can see, does, of course, let us know about which tracks are on it. And this is side B. Phew! It wasn't just side A that told us about the tracks. Side B has the track information as well about Side B. It's simply relevant to the side that you're going to listen to. And I'm going to listen to a track now to see what all the fuss is about. To see what all the fuss is about. More of the same, exactly what you'd expect from a fine amalgamation of two wonderful artists. If you're out there and you're like, oh, I really love a bit of hospital job, I really love a bit of local drags, but I've never checked out the starter jackets, what are they all about? I'd bang your head together, mate, and I'd say, go and get this, mate, listen to it, because it's a direct amalgamation of two wonderful uh, works of art working together. Um, one second, actually. Uh, I was just pondering the songs on the album. Let's find out which which songs are mostly loved by the band. Actually, I think I kind of like all the songs on the record. It turned out really well. I think it uh, 
best best bunch of starter jacket songs for sure cohesive they all fit together but if i had to pick one of mine it would be crush me up it's a good tune i like it a lot yeah yeah that's what you think but which of the songs by luke by your opponent luke do you think is the strongest and best and most fun and most dynamic and effervescent and of luke's songs i think i like the last track on the record the best um it's called just one out it's called just one out it's a little slower number at the end of the end of the record a tremendous work of art i strongly recommend this album it doesn't have so heavy on the synths as before which is a little bit unfortunate to me because uh, I really love the synthesizer sound. I love it a lot. I think it can really elevate a sound, a song, a little bit. It elevates it a little bit to make it a bit better than it is. But um, uh, it's still in there. It's just not as strong as previously. My favorite. That's that. My favorite song is. Uh, are right next to each other. Let's have a look. I've got Crush Me Up, No Good Deed, and Cuts right here in the middle. Sandwiched in the middle on side 2 or side B, depending um, if you like to say 2 or B, because some people may just hate even numbers, and other people are scared of Bs. So what they can do is they can choose if they'd like to say 2 or B, depending on their preference. And I'd hate to be one of those people that hate even numbers and Bs. What the heck are they going to say other than A and the other side? That's just one of the problems people have to put up with in life. Go and check out the Starter Jacket's latest album. If you didn't check out their first album, go and check out the Starter Jacket's first album first, and then the second album, more. This is a terrific album, and I'd admonish it a rough and ready 12 out of many. Points you can take home with you bury in the garden next to your plates and um, worship daily and nightly should you wish a very good album and I look forward to further library from the starter jackets so of course have a couple of seven inch records as well which you can get from here and there um, from uh, brass neck records in England and one of them uh, uh, um, from maybe Stardom Records, uh, just look around, use your brain, I'm not here to spoon feed you, alright, get a grip, I'll see you next time unless I don't, bye. so much for watching my very good video don't forget to subscribe to the very good channel and come back next week for another very good video a video to watch now it's a good video <laughs>